Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope that everybody's having a great holiday week. So today I'm going to do a quick tutorial for you guys on how I get really sharp and crisp images. I get asked a lot um, by people like, how do you get your images so sharp and crisp? So there is a way to do it. Uh, this is the best way to do it, I feel like. Um, and there's so many different ways to do it, guys, but I feel like this is the best way, um, only because when you actually, like, zoom in, you don't see, like, it's not pixelated, um, and if you, some of, some of the other ways that you do do it, it just, like, the images, I don't know, they just, you just see, like, little dots everywhere, so, um, this is gonna be the image that we're gonna work on. Okay, so as you guys can see, um, this is not sharp yet, so it's a little bit blurry. So this is the before, and this is the after. That way you guys can kind of see a little bit of a difference. Okay. And I do, um, you guys recommend that you do record or record this as a preset or save it as an action and I'll show you guys at the end on how to do it. I actually have it saved as an action and then I just play it and then I'm done. So, cause it, it is a little bit time consuming and there is steps to this. So let's get started. Um, the first thing that you're gonna wanna do is duplicate the background layer. So just drag it down to this page. Okay, and then you are going to name this layer Blur. Okay, then hit enter. So double click to name it and then hit enter to be done. And then you're going to uh, duplicate another layer. Okay, so drag. And this layer we're going to call um, High Pass. Okay. The next thing you're going to want to do is turn off the visibility on the high pass layer. Or I'm sorry you guys, um, move, move this layer above the blur layer. This is important guys, if you miss this step, it, you, it will not work. Like I tried it, it didn't work. So, um, yeah, just, just move that up so you have high pass first and then blur. And then you're going to want to turn off the visibility on the high pass layer. Okay. And then we're going to highlight the blur layer. This is the layer we're going to work on. And you will want to go to filter, blur, and Gaussian blur. Okay, so right here, um, the pixels you just want to set it between 10 and 12. I mean, it doesn't matter. Honestly, just I'll keep it at 10. I think um, it automatically comes up as 12. I just, I mean, it, there's really no difference. So just do 10 and click OK. Then we're going to select the high pass layer. And we're going to click on filter other and high pass and then again I just keep it at 10 just like the first one then click OK then the next thing you want to do is change the blending mode on this one which you'll want to go up here and you're going to select linear light okay so as you guys can see this is really 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 sharp okay this is like like overboard um so this is this is not done yet okay there's still more to this guys this is kind of, i know this is a little long it's a little time consuming but trust me it's worth it you guys your images will just look so amazing and professional like they're gonna look great Okay, so moving on, what you want to do is group these layers. So go ahead and just 
shift and you know highlight and then um, command G or control G for windows I have windows so it's control G for me okay and then we're going to name this group and we're going to name it sharpen okay um and then what you want to do is create a new layer mask so what you want to do is go right down here to this little square with the um, little circle in the middle and just click on that and you can see the white and it's selected and what you want to do is invert this so it's black um, so command i for mac or just uh, control i for windows so I have Windows, so it's going to be Control I for me. And so this switches to black. So this is what you want to see. Um, and then you're going to just look over here and just make sure you have the white and the black. If you don't, you want to make sure that that first layer is white. So just select, make sure it's white, like this is all good. It'll automatically do it for you, but in case it doesn't, um, you just want to make sure that this is proper. And then you're going to select a brush. And then just um, make sure the size on it is uh, bigger. I mean, whatever, you know, whatever size you want. And then the opacity up here, I just keep it around 70. And then down here, I usually keep it like pretty low, like around 30. It just depends how sharp you want your images. Um, I mean, like, I don't like my images way too, you know, I want it to look natural. So I keep it around 30. Um, but if you guys are going to go ahead and create this as an action, you can probably do it higher because once you play it back, then you can lower the opacity if needed. But yeah, just have it around 30. And then what you want to do is, it, you know, brush over the areas where you want sharpened. So sometimes people will like brush over like the eyes, the lips maybe the hair or whatever I usually like will sharpen my whole entire image so I will literally like color in everything or brush over everything but since I have it saved as a preset um, or as an action then it just automatically sharpens the whole entire image so let me zoom it in and so yeah just brush over and as you guys can see like it's already let me look at that. Like this is the before and this is after. I hope you guys can see this. I can even, I mean, just for the video, I'll just, um, I'll just bring it up a little bit higher so you guys can actually see a little better. Yeah. So as you guys can see, this is the before and this is after. And yeah, just um, if you want the whole entire, you know, the whole entire picture, just brush over the whole entire, you know, make your brush bigger and then just sharpen all over. So yeah, I mean, that's all there is to it. And like I said, I do recommend saving this as a uh, action. So what you'll want to do is just go to um, Windows and go to Actions. And then here's all my actions. I have it right here saved as a uh, preset, so I just play it. But if you want to create a new action, just click on this create new action icon. And then just name it like sharpen or something like that and then click record. And then literally just do those steps until you're done. And then you'll just want to click stop. So either it's going to be like right here or maybe up here, wherever you're, you'll see because it'll be just like highlighted in red. Um, and that's it. I hope, yeah, I mean, that's it. That's all there is really to it. Um, I hope you guys liked this video and um, let me know what else you guys want to see. Thank you.